Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a hitch on your Hyundai Sonata can take it to some really fun places like camping or trail bike riding. Can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Come on, let's go ahead and break this hitch down. So we're under the vehicle on the driver's side. If your vehicle is equipped with the underbody paneling, we'll need to drop that down, trim it just a little bit on the edge here. Um, we're also going to be lowering the exhaust here. Um, we'll strap the exhaust up with a, with a ratchet strap. And then we're going to also remove the heat shield. And that'll uh, give us access to the frame there. So let's go ahead and get to that. Okay, so to remove the underbody paneling, we're going to have five 10 millimeter screws. You can see that there are three across the rear fascia here. And then we have one going into the trunk and then a fifth one up towards the front of the vehicle here. And I'll start with that one there. Okay, and with the underbody paneling hardware removed, we should just be able to pull straight down on it. Like that. Okay. That's all I really needed to come down, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I have access to our driver's side frame here. Okay, so our next step is to lower the exhaust here, and we'll do that by removing two rubber isolators. One here, which is held by a bolt second isolator is at the rear of the vehicle right above the tailpipe so before we lower the exhaust we're going to want to support the exhaust with a strap that it will drop down so we don't want to damage anything or hurt anyone when it does come down basically we'll be supporting it with a strap and the strap will be around this uh, rear cross member Okay, that should be enough. Now we can go ahead and start removing. We'll, we'll go ahead and start with the most forward one here. Um, we'll take the bolt out using a 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Okay, now to remove the most rear rubber isolator, um, a couple different ways you can do it. I'm gonna spray this guy with some soapy water on both ends here so it comes out nice and easy. And you can basically stick a pry bar in here and just wedge it out. Uh, today I'll be using exhaust pliers. Okay, our exhaust is lowered. Now we can go ahead and remove the heat shield above it. Okay, so to remove this uh, heat shield, I'm gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet here. And I'm starting with the nut that goes to the trunk pan.
Okay, and last one all the way up towards the front of the vehicle here. Okay, so with all of our hardware removed from the heat shield, all we gotta do now is just pull straight down and straight out. And then we'll just go ahead and set this side aside and, re and reinstall it once the hitch is in place. Okay, so now that we have the heat shield removed, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the two hitch attachment points on the frame. Um, the hitch attachment points are covered by these uh, rubber stickers here. You just remove them, peel them back, and Okay, and just forward of that, we have one more hitch attachment hole. Again, it's covered by this foam tape. You just peel it back. Okay, now on the driver's side, doing the exact same thing. We'll move forward and get the forward attachment hole. Okay, so um, after removing the uh, foam tape, if you have a little bit that are, that's uh, kind of still sticking around there that you can't get with your hand, go ahead and just take the flat edge of a flathead screwdriver and just scrape the bottom of it until it's removed. Okay, so our next step is to get the provided hardware from the hitch manufacturer um, into the frame and then back down so that the hitch can be bolted onto it. Um, but before we can do that, the access hole that we need to go through is not large enough. So we're gonna have to make a small notch to go inside the frame. And as well as the carriage bolt provided by the hitch manufacturer. So to make, to make our access hole a little bit bigger and making this notch here, you can do that with a, a file, a grinder. Today I'll be using a, an air saw. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll be right here. I'm gonna cut, cut.
Okay, now we're on the passenger side above the exhaust. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so now that we have our uh, access hole notched out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the provided fish wire tool and we're gonna run it through the most rear access hole, our attachment hole, and we're gonna push it towards our access hole. And we'll just kind of put our finger up there and try to feel for it as it's coming forward and then guide it through the hole. Now that we have the coil in through the access hole, we can take our provided hardware, the spacer plate and the carriage bolt, screw it onto the coil in. And now just simply start pulling on the fish wire as we're pushing the hardware into the frame. Okay, and as we get the spacer plate into the hole, you can feel that it is hitting the top of the frame and there's still some room to go so we're going to try and angle it here so we're using the entire space of the frame and that worked out for us perfect so if it seems like the spacer plate is too big to go inside the frame you just need to go in at an angle there and we'll get that pushed out of the way and then put in uh, our carriage bolt Okay, now we can go ahead and pull on it, and it should come right out the end of the hole here. Just like that. Now for the most forward hole here, we're simply going to push the hardware in and then straight back down. It's called a reverse fish wire technique. We'll go ahead and show that to you. Okay, so before we go into the frame, we're going to go ahead and attach our hardware to the fish wire here. And again, we're just gonna push it all up into the frame. Now we should just pull straight back down. Okay, we can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the driver's side. Okay, now that we have our hardware inside the frame, uh, we can go ahead and take our hitch and put it up into place. Okay, so now we're ready to put the hitch into place. Today I'll be using uh, U-Haul's exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these, you'll need to get an extra set of hands. These hitches do get pretty heavy. Okay, our hitch is in place. You can see that uh, this is our most rear hitch attachment bolt coming through the frame and through the hitch. We'll go ahead and get a nut on there, but before I do, I wanted to point out that the hitch is designed to fit right around the exhaust hanger bracket here. And another hole in the hitch here is designed for the um, heat shield bolt coming through the frame. So we can just put the heat shield back up and screw it on there.
Okay, so we're on the passenger side above the exhaust here. We're gonna go ahead and take the provided nuts and just go ahead and uh, carefully put those on the bolts coming through the frame. We don't wanna to put too much pressure on them because we don't want to push them back up into the frame and lose them up there. You can see I'm, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with this and I'll, I'll show you a cool little trip that'll, or a cool little tip that'll help you out with that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna put pressure on the bolt that's coming through with one hand and then with the other, go ahead and screw the bolt onto the nut. That'll, that'll help me from uh, not pushing the bolt back up into the frame. Go ahead and put the forward bolt in. That one went right on. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the driver's side. Okay, all of our hardware is now into the frame, through the hitch. We've got our nuts holding the hitch into place. Now we're just gonna torque the nuts down uh, to the hitch uh, manufactured specs. And I'll be using a three quarter inch socket with a five inch extension. Okay, now we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, using the same exact tools, torque this guy down. Okay, now looking at the most forward bolt here, I'm not gonna be able to get my extension in there, so I'm just gonna remove the extension. And then just use the three quarter inch deep socket. Okay, now that the hitch is uh, torqued down, we can go ahead and put our heat shield back into place. It has an arrow here, and that's pointing towards the front of the vehicle. So we know to slide it in just like this. And we're struggling for some reason. Okay, so I'm, I was able to get the heat shield up and into its place. Um, I, I could get two of the nuts onto the bolts coming through the body here, this uh, outer one towards the passenger side, and then the most forward one towards the front here. Okay, and now for the uh, bolt that's coming through the trunk, it, it does not line up, and I think it's because the hitch uh, is in the way and is changing the angle here. So. But that's okay, they, these heat shields are meant to be flexed around and molded around. So you can see I can easily just bend it around. So I'll be tapping it with a hammer, maybe pushing up uh, into this empty space here to get it to line up properly. So. Okay, so I'm trying to remold this uh, heat shield to fit this last bolt here. Um, it was kind of difficult. So what I did was just elongated the hole a little bit because it was coming up right above the hole. Um, you can see here that this was the original hole. We elongated the hole. We're, we're about an inch above that. So um, you can elongate this hole about an inch and then it'll, you'll be able to get your, your uh, bolt through and then nut on here. We'll go ahead and tighten down the rest of the fasteners on the heat shield now. Okay, now the last nut on the forward bolt.
Okay, now we can go ahead and raise the exhaust back into position. Okay, we're ready to raise the exhaust back into position and I'll start at the rearmost uh, exhaust hanger isolator bracket here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go to the most forward isolator. Okay, now we can go ahead and remove our support strap. Okay, so our last step is to get this uh, underbody paneling on the driver's side up. The, again, the instructions do call that you have to trim an edge over here, but uh, I, I was able to get mine up without any trimming needed. So we're going to go ahead and just finish up uh, these last few bolts here. And voila, we have a hitch. Okay, our hitch is complete. You can see we have a really nice round tube stylish design. It looks really good on your Hyundai Sonata. Let's go over some really important measurements uh, for your towing accessories. So from the ground to the inside, top of the inside of the receiver tube is gonna be 10 and a half inches. That'll help you with determining any uh, rise or drop that you'll need. Um, and from the pin and clip hole to the rear edge of your bumper, that's going to be four inches and that'll help you with determining any hitch accessory that has a vertical post to get past your rear bumper. And that'll do it for our hitch for the Hyundai Sonata. Um, thank you for watching our video. Have fun. Be safe. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.